Well guys, we're up around the trap line here again today. We're locking into another set now. See if we got any see if we got a Martin or a Weasel or whatnot. Looks like a good fox track or cat track or something there. Old one. Oh, we got a nice little Martin here. He got his had his toes caught up there in the spring. Only a young one. This here is the second one now for the day. The bait and stuff still good there. Hauled up another one on another new spot that I tried out. Only set up there a couple days ago. Or about a week ago now, I guess. Well, this is Martin number two. Another trap put in there and set up. There we go. Safety's out of the way. Had a Martin here in this box too. Last year. Blood here all over the side of the box. Don't know what that's from. But uh, yeah, this is Martin number two. Putting the board screw and uh, head down the line. All right guys, we're here now. We're at the very next set. And we got another nice little Martin. The only small one. But uh, still a Martin all, all the way. Fairly light, yeah, actually, for this here area here in Labrador. We do get some light Martin, but a lot of them are darker than this here. Well, we get this here, took out the box. Get the trap set, and uh, away we go again. But, uh, geez, I only took four traps with me today for spare. I should have took some more, actually. Might have to haul some out of some other boxes or something yet. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Three Martin, four traps. Hopefully I got a fourth one. Well, guys, not too pleased with this here. The trigger here went and got stuck. Went uh, split both ways and went into the into the other jaw. Martin here, he probably suffered a bit. But uh, don't look to be a big lot of damage on it. She's not too happy about that at all. If it wasn't for that, I'd say it probably would have gotten around the head. He probably could have got his head right out of that. But, uh, I'm just going to take the trap off of that there because, I mean, there's no more damage you can do to the toes. That way I got another trap if I catch another Merton. But this one here is about half climber from the other two that I had. If that out here in this little section here today I'm doing really good that uh, this is the Fort Martin now had another trap there LDL trap now this is something else that I'm trying these here LDLs 120s something different I've got uh, got over a dozen of them set out already on a different part of the line but uh, I was gonna haul that out and Set trap back up and see what I can do with the trigger. That's that. Uh, that's not acceptable. Well, we'll move well, on. Well, here's Martin number five, and that uh, that means that we're now out of traps. I got to change this here trap out, and uh, it's the last trap that I got left for this here. For now, <laughs> anyway. So uh, any more Martin after this one here? That's gonna have to take trap and all, and. Uh, and uh, not have either trap in the boxes, I guess, for the for the sake of just Jesus. Should have took out some more traps. Don't think I had any more down there for the take, though, all the same. Might have to pick up another half dozen or so just for checking traps. For spare ones to go in the boxes. Oh, Jesus, this is the best day I've had so far, and we're still only about halfway up the line. Still got a few more boxes to go. 
Uh, this is the first Merton that I've had in this here location. I've had them on the other side of the road now before, but never on this side. And intro there in the, in that way there, I'm gonna, I've already started another trail for the going across. I got one box in there so far, but uh, I'll show you now once we get in there. Well, I'm in here now, into the first little pond. There's enough ice now. I'd uh, I'd probably try to cross and then uh, start climbing up over that hill over there on the other side. There's another pond that I'd like to try to get into. And in that pond, the next pond was uh, there's a little island there. I'd like to check it out, see if it's see if it would be a good spot for a cabin. And in here now, there's nobody else in here. This here's the. Uh, the only time it didn't take a 330 or a 280 is the time when I find a spot like this here. A little creek going into a pond. There's creeks all around it here. Up there, there's a perfect little pinch point for a trap. And there's air bubbles going through it all too, right? So, you know there's something in there going back and forth. Well, this is something for next time. I guess take a trap in and set it up over there. But, uh... I see there's a fox track out on the pond. And coming in, I've seen a couple of spots of Merton sign. I don't have any more traps with me today, but uh, if I did, I'd start setting them up in here. Once I can get across that pond there or whatever, or build a bridge maybe across here, get up the other side of it, and I can get into some uh, more territory where nobody would been trapping to. Well, uh, I might make up a little fox set here. I might not. Let's see, uh, see how much time I got left. Just stop for a little break here now. Uh, I'm in about three kilometers in after road now. And, uh, I mean, there's still a lot, a lot of land to cover inside yet. Nobody been in there. And I'm doing a pretty good day with Martin so far. I got five. So, uh, yeah, we'll get this, uh, get out of here and, uh, keep checking the rest of it. Waiting for the ice to freeze. Well, I was here the other day on Facebook, there was a video getting around where there was a fox, uh, hunting around for mice. And, uh, I just come across one of them spots where he, he come along and he dove down. I don't know if he got it in there, no blood there. And then he went on back up the trail. But, uh. Thought I'd show you guys that anyway, just something something a bit different. Here at another little spot now and uh just show you guys the cat track this here. Compared to my boot, uh, ain't the biggest cat now, but uh I had another cat set down there. Nice little ways to see if we see if we got him now. I don't say we do. <laughs> well, this is one of my cat sets here now and uh like I said of course there's nothing in it. But I, uh, I fixed it up a little bit better, bowed it in a bit more, and uh, made a little roof on it so the birds can't really get at the bait there. Piece of fresh uh, beaver meat. And, uh, well, for this set here, I got that put to, oh, here it is. I'm using this stuff here, uh, Picuba or Picabua. I'm not sure how, uh, not sure how you pronounce it. But uh, it's made by uh, Forget, or Forget. And I'm not sure how you pronounce it. He's a French guy. Uh, I need to fix up this here little snare. The cat, uh, he just about went right on, well, walked right on past out there on the main row, following the regular trail. But now I got this here all baited up and whatnot again. The snare put there. Uh, yeah, this here should be good to go now. I've uh, got a CD hung up over here. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. No. I'm going to put a bit of lure on that there too. Anyway, uh, I'll head down the line. 